In music, articulation is the way in which a note is played. It's one of many ways in which music can be made to sound unique with each new composition. This video will highlight some of the most common types of articulation. The first type of articulation is staccato. Staccato is Italian for detached. This means that the note should be shortened. This still means that a crotchet lasts for a crotchet beat, for example, but that the note itself is played shorter than it usually would be. It is depicted on sheet music by a small dot above or below the note. Listen to this example and see if you can notice the difference between the music played with and without staccato. The second type of articulation we'll look at is the accent. An accent is an emphasis or stronger attack on a note, and is marked on a score by an accent mark, which looks like a letter V on its side. Listen to this example and see if you can hear the stronger, slightly more aggressive approach to the notes. The third type of articulation is tenuto. In Italian, this means to hold. As opposed to staccato, where a note is shortened, a note marked tenuto should be played or sustained for its full length. This is quite a difficult one to explain, and to be honest, Sibelius struggles to interpret it correctly. However, some performers differentiate between a so-called normal note and a tenuto note by giving it a slight accent, but not as powerful as the one heard in the last example. The fourth type of articulation we'll examine is marcato. Marcato in Italian means marked. This should be played more forcefully or louder than surrounding notes which are not marked with the marcato sign. The marcato sign is an upside down letter V on top of or below the note in question. Simply put, the marcato note can be interpreted as a louder version of an accented note. Have a listen. Finally, let's take a look at the slur. A slur is when adjacent notes, or a longer phrase, are played without any separation between the notes. A slur makes the music sound smooth, and can be interpreted differently depending on the instrument being performed. For a string instrument, slurred notes would be played in one bow strike. For wind instruments, there should be no tonguing of any of the notes. And in vocal music, slurs are usually written for a single syllable, known as a melisma. Let's listen to the example of slurred music. So there you have it, a few of the most common types of articulation. That was by no means a comprehensive list, and there are many others that I haven't covered today. To finish with, here's a final run through highlighting some of the types of articulation once again, including the even shorter staccatissimo, which I included simply because it's fun to say. Staccatissimo. Thanks for watching.